State lawmakers have returned to Lansing today after cutting their session short in 2023. Now, as Democrats retain the reins of power in the state, they find themselves in a somewhat different position than they were just 12 months ago. Political reporter Rick Albin was in Lansing today and has this report on the start of this year's legislative session. And the Senate is hereby called to order. Democrats Secretary and Republicans were back in the Senate district. chamber today. In some Mr. manner, Number they one, pick up Senator where Banks. they left off in 2023. Mr. The Mr. agenda Senator for the majority Chang. Democrats will become Mr. clearer Mr. after the governor's state of the state address on the 24th. Is here. But unlike last year, there will not be billions of extra dollars to sweeten the government pot as the budget process starts to play out. And revenues remain a question, though one Republican appropriator tells me he thinks they're close to projections, though admits... He's no clairvoyant and says last year's spending may be hard to keep up with. Appropriations member and Lowell Republican Senator Thomas Albert says last year's budget marked a change. There was a big meaningful change for an ongoing need of revenue uh, and whether or not that revenue is going to be there, I'm not sure. Um, it, it's hard to, I don't have a crystal ball, I don't know what the economy is going to bring this year. Another big difference as we begin this year will be here in the House, where last year Democrats enjoyed a two-vote majority, and they used their slim advantages in both chambers to pass parts of their agenda unilaterally. That is not the case as the new year begins. Two Democratic members were elected to other offices, and the House is now a 54-54 tie until at least late April when special elections will be held. Democrats are expected to win those two seats, so the tie should only be temporary. Kalamazoo's Democratic Senator Sean McCann says that will not slow down the Senate. Dynamics in the House are a little different at 54-54. Does that have any impact with the speed that you may be able to do things in the Senate? Uh, I think no impact to the Senate. Uh, my sense is we can proceed business as usual, uh, both committee work and then floor action. I think that's the place it stops in the House, at least for the time being, is floor action unless it's something that's very bipartisan. The legislative session, budget and state of the state are three things to watch in Lansing. Throughout a presidential primary, continuing litigation about redistricting in the Detroit area, what could be a deciding vote in the U.S. Senate with a race for an open seat and the already shaping up positioning and jockeying for statewide races in 2026. Michigan may become a very interesting place to be as this year unfolds. Rick Albin, News 8.